Mathematics, the Fundamentals, presented by Dr. Carol Yates. Today we're going to be talking about the lattice method of multiplication. The lattice method of multiplication appears in the first printed arithmetic books printed in Travisio, Italy in 1478. And I've enclosed a map so you can get a visual understanding of where this particular city is. So here we see the map of Italy and here is Treviso. When using the lattice method of multiplication, the first thing that a student needs to do is to construct a lattice. And a lattice is very easy to make. It's simply a box with a diagonal cut across. And we're going to be multiplying a two-digit number times a two-digit number. And so we're going to take the number 36, and I would write 36 above the lattice, and we're going to multiply it by 43. And I write 43 on the side of the lattice. Now I have to know my basic multiplication facts in order to be able to have success with this particular method. And the first thing that I do is I multiply 6 times 4, and my answer is 24. So I put the 2 in the tens place, and I put the 4 in the ones place to represent the number 24. Next I multiply 6 times 3, and I get 18. So the 1 goes in the tens place, and the 8 goes in the ones place. After that, I multiply 3 times 4, and I get 12, tens place, ones place. And then I multiply 3 times 3. And you'll notice that 3 times 3, the answer is 9, and 9 does not have a unit in the tens place. So I put a 0, and then the number 9. Now my lattice is completed. So the next step that I have to do is I have to add the digits that are in the diagonal sections of each of the lattices. Alright, so I look here for my first diagonal, so if you think about this being the diagonal line, coming over here, I have the number 8. So I simply record 8 here. Then I look at the next set. So between here and here, I have a 4, a 1, and a 9. When you add these together, you have 14. So what I need to do is I write the 4 here, and I have one more, so I need to actually take it into the next row. So I'm just going to notate that right here. And now I add this set of numbers in the diagonals. This set of numbers right here, I have a 1 plus a 2 plus a 2 and a zero, and so my answer would be five. And then I add my last section of numbers in my last diagonal, and you'll see that there's only a one digit, so I have one. Now I take my numbers around the outside edge, and I just simply record them, and here is my answer. So 36 times 43 is 1,548. We can check that using the traditional method of multiplication, and we would record 36 times 43, and 6 times 3 is 18. We have to carry that extra unit, and then we have 3 times 3 is 9, plus that one more would be 10. 4 times 6 is 24. Again, carry that extra unit of 2, and 4 times 3 is 12, and 2 more is 14. And now you simply do the addition, and you have 8, 4, 5, 1. So you can see that through the traditional method, you also receive the same answer as we did with the lattice method. The traditional method presents some problems with children because they would have to keep their numbers lined up and they would have to know when to move over into that next section. The problem mainly with the lattice method would be to make sure that they understood that they had to add the numbers on the diagonal. This lattice method of multiplication can be used with two digit by two digits 
also it could be used by three digit by three digit numbers it could also be used by multiplying a two digit by a three digit or a three digit by a two digit you could just simply rearrange it but the children should not have any problems being able to construct their lattice just simply again drawing the box and making that diagonal across the box Again, they just have to make sure that they have an understanding of the basic multiplication facts. So once again, this was the lattice method of multiplication to help make mathematics fun.